Surah Al Quran. Yeah, you turn your mercy with the same. Eh? Mm. Surah Al Quran from chapter six, verse seven six. Verse seventy six. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وكذلك نري إبراهيم ملكوت السماوات والأرض وليكون من الموقنين. Translation is and thus did we show Abraham the kingdom of the heavens and the earth that he should have full knowledge and that he might be of those who possess certainty of faith. Read a verse before and a verse after as well. Yes. وَإِذْ قَالَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ لِأَبِيهِ عَزَرَا أَتَتَّخِذُ أَسْنَامًا عَلِهَا إِنِّي أَرَاكَ وَقَوْمَكَ فِي طَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ وَكَذَلِكَ نُرِي إِبْرَاهِيمَ مَلَكُوتَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَلِيَكُونَ مِنَ الْمُوقِنِينَ فَلَمَّا جَنَّ عَلَيْهِ اللَّيْلُ رَأَى كَوْكَبًا قَالَ حَاذَا رَبِّي فَلَمَّا أَفَلَ قَالَ لَا أُحِبُّ الْعَافِلِينَ it is mentioned here to obviate the misunderstanding or misinterpretation of what follows. In the following verses, Ibrahim appears to say the star has set so it could not be my God. How could he really mean that by the time it was not said, I understood the star to be my God? When before that, Allah says that before this manazara, this debate began, Abraham, Abraham was shown the truth lying behind all nature, all universe. So this intervening verse, positively proves the Amri Abu Pint or Amri an interpretation of these verses which follow that Abraham was only debating the issue and in, the, in debates such things happen that you concede to the other, other person's view not believing in it but just by reference to what you believe so the verses should be read as, I mean, the message of those verses should be read as, if according to you, stars are real gods, then why do they set? Gods do not set. So this is a beautiful way of argument by Abraham, and the previous verse which we have referred to, guards over any misunderstanding which may arouse out of the out of these verses which may may have arisen out of these verses right mm -hmm.